In Fulton County say overall the process largely has been problem free. John Shirick joins us now live from Fulton County where officials are counting the ballots. The hope, the wish is that they are all complete by 11 o'clock. Is that still a reasonable expectation that they had earlier tonight, John? Possibly. That may be uh, when we'll see the results. But elections workers have been driving the memory cards under sheriff's escort from every single Fulton County precinct to the computers here. Then they take those memory cards out of the envelopes and upload them into the computer precinct by precinct. Fulton County Commission Chair Rob Pitt says the turnout today for this runoff was, as he put it, horrible. And Fulton County Elections Director Richard Barron says he's not concerned about Georgia's Secretary of State wanting the state to take over Fulton County elections because of past problems. That's just politics, Barron says. I know the Secretary of State's in a, going to be in a tight primary campaign, so he's using us as a way to campaign for next year. Today, we had virtually no issues at the polling places and early voting ran smoothly as well. The turnout was just horrible, horrible for an election as important as when these are all Atlanta precincts that I'm talking about now. As everybody says, if you don't vote, you can't complain. I was a little surprised, quite frankly, uh, at the low turnout uh, in the Atlanta elections in particular. There are 520,000 registered voters in Fulton County alone for this runoff. So as the vote totals start to come in, you can do the math and see just what a tiny percentage of those registered voters actually showed up at the polls. Back to you. All right.